Hey, it's Savvy Home Garden here. Uh, I am working on, this is the backyard of my neighbor. Um, so let me step back and show you everything. So they have a gang of snake plants, which I know are not going anywhere. And I get some on my side of the concrete. So this is one of the corners that I'm working on. And in this corner, there are snake plants all along this fence line. And with this fence line um, is a nice palm tree that's growing another tree upon another tree. So I can just clean up the palms when they fall, which are right in there. Another plant that I've identified here is a jasmine, which smells so nice. I have three of them um, in my yard. And this is the flower that they bloom but it smells really nice and fragrant, smells like vanilla. And those are just bushes that's been there for 20 years. They're really not doing anything spectacular, so I just kind of cut them down. My neighbor doesn't mind, he doesn't come back here um, at all, as you see. <laughs> so I cut them down. So I'm working on building this border here, um, and I'll keep on updating you. Right now, this jasmine is really growing in his side, but as you see, it comes on my side, and like I said, it smells really good. So I'm retraining it because the jasmine likes to intertwine on anything that you put there, including itself. So it will just keep on wrapping around and wrapping around until it just keeps on doing it. But this is where the origin is. All of this is in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and take all that out, and I'll be right back. All right, so I was able to take a lot of it and bring it over here. It's connected to his bougainvillea, which he told me he planted, and I'm trying my best to just untwine it. But basically, um, it's going to continue to be worked on. Um, this is just the beginning stage of it because um, it's been so intertwined I've got to cut back some of it and let it grow out more and then when it blooms you can see the difference but I, as you see already it's going to take over and I want to drape it um, along the fence in one area and control it there because I'm going to have another vine right there because um, like I said this vine is not growing on my property so if he ever comes and decides he wants to cut it even though they say they don't um, some people change their mind so if he ever decides he wants to cut it he will um, but at least I have right here to put a vine which is this vine right here that I'm working on so uh, this vine has uh, I don't know what color it has actually it just says multicolor so I'll have to wait and wait for it to bloom. So one of the ones I saved from Lowe's. And then this was given to me. So I'm gonna have this vine. And again, don't know what color is a uh, vine this is, but I do know it's a vine and it'll go in this corner. So I'll drape it right along here, maybe, or put it right in the middle. All right, so part one of my back and as soon as I get an update and get it all cleared out I'll go ahead and video that as well but this is part one thanks for watching